Hey there, Squirrel Army! Today we're going to be talking about Infect and Poison in EDH. You can join the Squirrel Army by subscribing. So it's been a thing of contention for quite a while, and I think the recent Phyrexia set has brought it more into the limelight again with Poison becoming a larger archetype and I do think you could call it an archetype now that there's enough cards for it to be an actual archetype before I didn't really think that there was enough cards there was just like a handful of cards that sort of did stuff with poison and most of them weren't that amazing and whatnot there were some that were somewhat playable in some formats or whatever true perhaps and even in commander but still, I didn't really think that it was much of a thing. And yes, sure, there, I know there was a lot of complaints from some people and other people trying to, you know, say, hey, dude, it's not that that bad, you know, like we would have died probably anyway. And yes, that would probably be the case for the most part, or we would have been close, hey. So, you know, but that that does bring me to the thought that will it be like that now? And I do think that that in fact can be a good uh, like a good strategy in some ways because it's good for aggro for the most part. That's the way that I always want to look at it. It's if it's good for aggro, but the thing is that it's not just that it's quote unquote good for aggro because it's good for any strategy as long as you've got a couple poison counters on people or as long as you can actually give people poison counters, initially, anyway. And then all you have to do is, like, brick wall and proliferate. Like, so, I don't know. I don't know how powerful Infect has become now. I think we have to wait and see where it's kind of at and how powerful it will be in the format before we can, you know, definitively say it's too powerful. I don't think it's too powerful, though. To be honest, I don't think we'll get to that point. I don't think anything, any card specifically is too strong yet um, that I've seen in the new set. And I don't really see that there's anything that's, you know, going to be too strong with anything else. But I do think that the conversation has to be started to have is like, I do agree that perhaps that there should be that, that thought of, you know, it should be changed. But the thing, at least for EDH, because again, 10 infect is basically zero infect for the most part. You're going to get it so either, either you're not going to get hardly any infect, like one or two or three, and that's going to be it for the whole freaking game. Or you're just going to get a million infect and wow, cool, the game's over. So that, or like, it's going to be such a process of, you know, again, I, I, and I always say this about things. Answers are good, but the thing is, am I going to run 500 spells that just answer infect? No. Like, there's not even that many answers out there in the format. But again, like, how many, you know, answer spells do I need for all of the things that are out there? And you do need to answer most things as a sort of think. You need to answer the immediate winning threats. That's where I'm always thinking about things, not, well, this thing is there and it does exist and it could be a problem later. Well, yeah, sure, that might be something I'll keep my eye on, but for now, what I've got to deal with and what I've got to worry about is this person winning. Like, is this person just going to kill us next turn or whatever? So that's where I'm always looking. I'm always looking at, well, you know, how... how far can this person go how how much per uh, mana do they have next turn you know how far ahead are they already like they're you know like if somebody's got six infect on you and six infect on two other people and they have a four four with infect then one of you is dead and then the next two of you will be dead in the next couple of turns so that person is a huge threat to all three of the other people that are at the table. So you've really got to be able to answer what they're doing and whatnot. And now sometimes you can't really do anything about it because they've got all this 
shroud locks and things like this or hexproof locks or ward and you just don't have enough mana or they're constantly, you know, wrathing lands or whatever, things like this or whatnot, um, so that you can't keep up your mana um, to the point where you can actually potentially answer whatever they're doing or whatever, or it's just such a lock in terms of, well, the thing that's that's giving everything hexproof or shroud or whatever is, in fact, hexproof as well, and it's indestructible and this and this and this, so it's very hard to get rid of it. Like, you're not going to get rid of it for the most part. Um, there is ways, obviously, to get rid of it, but, you know, like, just the number of ways that you're going to get rid of it in most games is going to be very heavily reduced. So we do need to think about what it is um, that Infect needs to be, because, again, I don't think that Infect should be nerfed too much either. I don't think that it's at that point yet where we can say that it needs to be nerfed, though it can be an annoying strategy because it's such a low investment to get that 10 poison, especially now that there's so many more toxic and infect and proliferate cards that really help that strategy out. So I know they've tried to balance a lot of things for the new set and try to take this sort of thought into consideration that it is going to be potentially an issue and it is going to be a potential issue in standard, modern, pioneer, whatever else, um, etc., draft, all these sorts of things. So I know that they've thought of it, but it's whether that translates to, you know, actually being able to answer these things and in the limited environment i don't really think that there's enough answers in the limited environment though i'm not a limited person or a limited expert by any means um so i do think though that there are enough answers in the game for some of these things but again it's sort of tough to really see where we're at until these cards get played, but the amount of negative reaction that's out there is kind of bad, but also the amount of people that are trying to be too janky about it or, or whatever, too smart about it or whatnot is pretty much equal as well. I see way too many people being like, oh, in fact, yes, ha -ha, and whatnot, like... What, bro? Like, calm the frick down. Like, it it's going to be a thing or whatever, and some people might want to do it. Yeah, sure, okay, whatever. But still, it's just one of those things. It's just another strategy, you know, in the game. And if it, to me, if it happens, it happens. Like, I was talking the other day about a card that happens to have Toxic, and it happens to also have Proliferate. And I was saying that, well, I don't really care about it, in fact. Like, so what? It's there. I don't really care. I'm not really going to use that as my win condition because I don't really care. Like, if somebody is sitting there at a million life or something, then I might start going, well, this person's... I'm never going to kill them otherwise, so I've got to do something. I've got to infect them out or something then I might start considering, especially if my command is pretty bad and can't really get in there and do a whole bunch of damage to them and really kill them with command damage. So that might be a way that I go, well, I'm going to get them this way with Infect so that, you know, don't have to worry about them being in a million life or whatever it is. So, you know, that's where that, that starts to be coming in. But it, it is tough to make those choices and those decisions I guess for some people because I think that it, people just get a new shiny toy and then just they don't know what to do other than they want to play with it type thing you know so you you have that going on um where people want to play these things and I think it's one of those things that since it really hasn't been a very 
big archetype or a big strategy or whatnot, the, and yet it has been part of the game for so long that p- some people have kind of thought that it has been a, you know, a, ga- a thing that perhaps should get more support or whatever because they want to do that thing of just, ha-ha, I win, etc., blah, 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 whatever, because, in fact, I didn't have to do as much work as what I did with my commander or what I did with my creatures in general, and yes, that is true, and if you're just doing that, it's probably fine as well because even so, you've got to actually have your combats and people have got to make their choice or have the chance to make their choices if they happen to have any, Um, but again, they get to make those attacking and blocking and basic decisions that I think are important to magic. The problem, I guess, comes from, like, ways that Infect can be abused, and I think a lot of the Infect cards, they've changed a lot of the way Infect works, that it's got to do combat damage, it can't just do damage, um, like Toxic and whatnot, so they, I think they tried to, um work that out so that like shit you just couldn't Chandra's ignition everyone with a 10 10 infect and be like oh okay cool the game's over because i dealt 10 infect to everyone or whatnot um so yeah it's one of those things that we'll have to keep our eyes on and keep looking at as we progress further and further along because i'm sure there's going to be more um, poison and more Phyrexian stuff in the next couple of sets and whatnot. So we're going to get a fair amount of this sort of stuff incoming in the next full year that we're going to be um, experiencing. So it's only going to get more and more, and it's only become going to become more and more of an issue that more and more people want to discuss and want to say, hey, well, this isn't right. This was balanced for... 1v1 magic and for a 20 life format and i do agree with that that part of it is 100 percent true it was meant for you know 1v1 style magic it really wasn't it wasn't really considered to be part of edh and like people who have been playing edh have been saying well this doesn't quite seem right ever since or haha i win ever since so you know uh that does need to be looked at at least a little bit and there needs to be something i don't know exactly what you can do like again as i sort of said we don't i don't want to see infect get nerfed but i don't want to see infect or in poisonous or whatever it is become too strong of a archetype and i don't think it will quite yet but maybe maybe it will by the end of the year or whatnot, um, we just don't know. Or there might be certain cards that really push it over the edge and make it really, really good. So, yeah, it's not to say that people should play Infect or whatnot. You should play what you want to play if you really want to play it. But the thing is, again, people should be able to have that choice of saying, well, this this is a bit, bit silly. Can we at least play with the house rule that you know, or whatever, that, you know, you have to do, you know, 15 in fact or whatever, something. Especially if somebody's playing just, you know, the Chandra's Ignition dot, dot, blast you all for 10 in fact type strategy or whatnot, these sorts of things. I think that, like, the whole in fact thing, it gets overblown a fair bit, but it is a, it is a game thing that, you know, another alternate win condition in a sense that it's one of those things that we do have to make sure that it's not taking over the format. It's part of the format, perhaps, but not every deck needs to run it. Like, if somebody says, oh, you know, like, I have happen to have that one Infect card in my deck or whatnot, and it happens to be out, they're like, oh, Infect? I'm like, no, not really. I only have this one card that does infect, and basically I never really use the infect uh, for the most part or whatever because I just don't care unless somebody's at a million life or whatever and I just can't kill them any other way 
or whatever. And then if people aren't cool with that, then, hey, you know, what else can I do, you know? I've got to w- try to win somehow and, well, my commander's not going to do it. So, you know, I've got this and whatnot and I'm not doing it in a way of, you know, non, non-combat non damage or just sitting here behind a whole bunch of, you know, stuff or just combo kills or whatever else. I'm just plodding along doing my own strategy and if it happens to happen again, if I happen to do it, then I happen to do it. Or if somebody else happens to do it, they happen to do it. I'm not going to sit here and just be like, oh, well, cool, I'm just going to play the same strategy unless I want to. I'm going to make those choices for myself. So I've decided where I want to be on that scale. I'll only use it if it's beneficial to me and then I'll only use it until I don't really care about it because now I'm not really, it's not really worth me getting any more effectiveness out of that because, well, I'm getting all the benefits that I can get out of it until the point at which I can't kill somebody and need to use it in that regard because, hey, well, you know, got to try to win at some point. But that's my perspective on it. Um, I do feel like I don't want to say you guys could tell me what you guys think, but I always let you guys tell me what you guys think, no matter what it is. Um, Even if you completely disagree with me, even if you think the best thing to do is just infect them all out and say, screw them all and whatever else, I don't really care um, what other people think. I'm not really going to change my perspective on infect and playing infect or using it because I'm not going to use it Um, for the most part. It is going to be on a card in one of my decks, but that's it. Like, and I, again, I'm not really going to use it for the infect. I'm mostly using it for the other effects that it's got. And if I so happen to find myself in a situation where I need to use the infect, then I'll use it. But other than that, I really won't care. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this thought that I've had about Infect in EDH, um, and I hope to catch you all in the next one.